we start to register Panasonic Mobile Soft Phone to NSBBX. This is an outline of the installation procedure. The activation keys are required for PBX and Mobile Soft Phone. For mobile soft phone usage, activation keys are required. Purchase activation keys, then you can get an activation key number and an registration ID. And enter activation key number and registration ID to the KMS server. We prepare 30 days trial period for mobile soft phone. 30 days start to count up once register to PBX as SIP extension. When mobile soft phone starts to work, it also asks server to confirm on authentication regardless type of activation key. This is the configuration figure. In this case, the router is contained in it. We set up and ask to register mobile soft phone. For extension port, set up password, phone location, and IP SIP phone. Set up IP address for LAN, if you need to change it. Setting up DNS server address is necessary for push notification. Set up external IP address for router and port number for SIP proxy server. Next, we set up mobile soft phone. This is the screen for home. When you register it to PBX, tap the settings. Do you need to input SIP server address and port for PBX in local site? SIP username and password are set up to register PBX. Also, input SIP server address and port for router in remote site.
When you use SIP TLS feature, do you need to set up little more? Select Enable for SIP TLS and PBX setting. Confirm the port number for SIP TLS, then change port forwarding setting in router. In Mobile Soft Phone setting, select TLS for Transport Layer Protocol, then select a required certificate. Change SIP Server Port to SIP TLS Port Number same as PBX. This concludes the video. Feel free to comment on this video to support further improvements. Panasonic Business.